I'd like by, to start by reminding the Zambian people what we advise them in the run-up to the 2021 elections. We asked the Zambian people to be mindful and watchful of the people they were bringing into leadership. We are now being vindicated that Zambia has become a police state. Never in the history of democracy, never in the history of policing, has a person's house been surrounded for the want of a motor vehicle, for the want of a title deed. Never in the history of this country. The questions that they were asking the people were to do with motor vehicles, were to do with release of the title deed. They have not shown any evidence that the people who they suspected are in possession of those motor vehicles were either asked by the police to come and surrender them or asked whether they were really in possession of those motor vehicles. Instead, they sent more than 200 armed police officers to go and surround the house. This is unheard of. Especially that it's happening to the wife of the former head of state who enjoys immunity. This is something that Zambians must be worried about. If such a thing can happen to a person who held the highest office of the land, what about you and I, ordinary citizens? Now it means that the police can stop you anywhere and just arrest you even before they question you. This is what is becoming of our dear country. I'd like to advise Zambians to be on the watch out, to be on the lookout. But don't you lose heart, because President Edgar Chagwalungu and Madame Esther Lungu have not lost heart 
because they understand the circumstances under which we are living. They also understand the shortcomings of those people who were given the mandate to govern us. The people who are given the mandate to govern us, unfortunately, have run out of ideas. And now they want to detract people's attention from the cost of living. They want to distract people's attention from their decisions to buy VXs. And when they are told you have bought VXs which you didn't want to buy, they decide to sell them without following government procedures. Now, because people are following that, they decide let's create a storm in a teacup. They try to create a storm in the teacup when they talked about deregistration of the PF. When they realized that they were drawing a blank, they have now come up with yet another scheme. I want to assure Zambians that this is not the end of the journey. Haga Inde and his government will continue to come up with storms in teacups just to try and keep people alive to the fact that he is still president. But don't lose heart. We are happy that they have taken their statements and we want to see what will follow from this. We are determined to protect the Zambian people. If indeed a person has committed an offence, let the due process of the law be taken. The first thing that a police officer should do if they suspect that a person is in possession of some property which is illegally obtained, they summon them and say, come and explain. You don't go and surround their house with the armed police officers. Look at the presence here of police officers. Just for questioning, questioning a former president, you bring 200 police officers. This shows you, this shows you that we are being governed by what the late President KK would refer to as scared little men. What Rafael Nakachinda has spoken about is something that you, the press, must really follow. How is it that some people have made themselves spokespersons to start commenting on a matter which the police are still investigating? If the highest person, the highest police officer, the Minister of Home Affairs, the Minister of Home Affairs can start making pronouncements and saying this is what happened while the police are still investigating. What is that showing? It is showing that they have already written the script and they want people to fit into that script. But we want to assure Jack Mwimbu that we shall not fall in his trap. We are wiser, we are more experienced than he is. Former president was himself former minister of home affairs. And Kampiongo is a more experienced minister of home affairs than Jack Mwimbu. We are more experienced as government. Davis Mwila is more experienced as home affairs minister. And never have you ever had such a thing happening in the history of this country. So Zambians, thank you for coming out. <coughs> Members of the press, thank you for giving vigil because without you, the world would not know what is happening. But the truth of the matter is that our rating as a democratic state is going down the doldrums. All because of the insatiable appetite by one other in the Ijidema to try and cast aspersions on Edgar Chagwalungu and the Patriotic Front. But we want to assure them that their appetite will never be satisfied because we are going to soldier on. I want to say thank you very much to all the citizens, particularly members of the PF, who turned out yesterday, who have turned out today. That turnout has sent shivers, even more shivers. I'm sure that the people who who came up with this scheme are now regretting because yesterday the PF showed that indeed it is still strong, it is still formidable. Within a few minutes we could mobilize. We are ready to take over. And if Haga Inde has realized that he cannot manage without creating a crisis, the best thing he must do is to surrender, give up. There are people who are ready to run this country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.